we got a package all right so here we are I have to take a photo <laughs> all right um so again I was uh, sorry guys I, I don't I don't dress up for y'all I maybe I should but I just it's the end of the day and I was just like why so okay um so again late night just looking at YouTube videos and I saw a these people really be advertising on YouTube I'm telling you um I saw this fragrance ad so I know I reviewed uh Paris Hilton uh perfumes and then I misspelled perfume yeah not the smartest on the spelling or math but anywho um Paris Hilton just isn't doing it for me <laughs> like my nose just got bored again like in that video I just told you guys that my nose just gets bored of smells and so my nose got bored of that smell so yeah great um but this came in the night and I was like okay cool I I think I'm gonna try this what really brought me to love it is that it's non-toxic so everyone's going through this non-toxic you know earth makeup basically like uh, I didn't know that the ingredients in perfumes could have like really harmful things and so I was like wow I don't really want that on my skin or on my clothes or inhaling it so um, this was made by Michelle Pfeiffer who of course I everyone really likes Michelle Pfeiffer she is the original she's not the original Catwoman but she is my original Catwoman and she will be forever my Catwoman besides the other one which I forgot her name but anyway so the brand is called Henry Rose which is her um like daughter and son's middle names which who cares to know that but like yeah so I yeah I know that because I watched a lot of YouTube videos now I went out to the site and you can take this quiz and I don't like these scent quizzes because most of the time they don't really match me very well because I like a lot of smells I like a lot of different smells so yeah so the one that they matched me with was Queens and Monsters which is one that I really wanted to smell because I'm like okay let's see if they got it right um, Queens and Monsters is a rich fragrance <laughs> rich um, it's just kind of funny that I would pick something rich <laughs> So, uh, the freshness and zest of, I don't know what that word is, balances the fluid sensuality of sandalwood and create a woody aroma. Mmm. Yum, yum, yum. Um, and then, of course, I bought, so I bought the full Discovery set. This set runs for $45. And, yeah, I was like contemplating I was like you know what it's okay it's just money and you know what I don't have anything else to do <laughs> so they come in cigarette boxes isn't that nice <laughs> little mini cigarette boxes look look watch <laughs> um they smell out even outside of this I can smell it so these are like little cardboard cigarette looking boxes they don't really say which one is what. They're non-labeled, except for the Henry Rose. So you just kind of have to open it up and see. And you just pick one. What if I picked the one that I'm supposed to do? Uh, this is last night. No, I don't want last night. Fog. I was really wanting to see Fog. Jake's house. That's really one I really wanted to know. <sighs> um... 
Um, so this one's the fresh set. So they have a warm and then they have a fresh. So this is obviously not my set. We're trying to find mine. Ooh, that one came off. Hmm, dark as the night. Torn. Mine's probably the one that's messed up when goes down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. It's the one that's messed up. The little cap came off. Uh oh, the spring came off. Dang it. Here it is. Queens and Monsters. All right. So we're just going to try to work with this. And I'm going to spray it. Oh, this is crumb. Wow, it sprayed once. Now it's all jacked up. Wow. I can kind of smell this. Wow. <laughs> That's terrible. Oh well. Okay. Hmm. All right. It is rich. It is rich. It's very warm. I will say that it's warm. <sighs> I want it to dry down for a minute. Don't rub. Don't, don't rub. I want to rub. These are, so these smells, these scents are, um, gender fluid. So uh, there's no like right or wrong to wear these. Um, this one, if I had to, it's very, it is rich, but it's warm. It's not a daytime fragrance. It's definitely one of those snuggle me up nighttime fragrances. Um, it's a bit more, it has a bit more depth to it than the other one that I reviewed that all the papers, you know, and my other one, um, I might even have that bear with, bear with, bear with, yeah, symmetry, symmetry. Yeah. So this is the one that I had reviewed all of their perfumes and they look very similar actually um so the coupon code that they gave me did not work on the other one it might work on this one but yeah it's okay i wouldn't buy this for myself so i am actually okay that it's broken i'm okay with that it's all right it's not I don't know. I'd rather have the other one. It's a little bit sweeter. This is a little bit more. It's not me. I, I just, I think that's what it is. It's just, it's just not me. So let's go with Jake's house. Jake's house is clean. That's how they describe it. Watery, clean, freshness, encounters, honeyed, Neroli for a light and clean musky finish. When I heard about Jake's house, why did my mind go straight straight to Jake Gyllenhaal's house? Like I know him. Like, okay, it's Jake's house. It's Jake's house. I feel like this is like Jake Gyllenhaal's house. Like this is what Jake Gyllenhaal's house would smell like. Not that I, you know, Michelle Pfeiffer knows Jake Gyllenhaal. She may know him, but like, wouldn't that be funny? <laughs> like, who the hell is Jake? And why are you going to his house? So, I can't smell anything because this is so overbearing, but we're going to spray it on this side. Jake's house. Wow. Oh, damn it, Jake. Smell good. Jake's house be smelling yum. <laughs> Hold on. This is nice. 
Nice. No wonder people like Jake's house. I So if you go on any other YouTube channel and you look up Henry Rose and you look up people smelling the smells and you'll be like, Jake's house, Jake's house. This is why. Jake's house is nice. It's a sea breeze. It's a sea breeze house, which that's how they have it kind of. It's like Malibu. Jake Gyllenhaal. This is be Jake Gyllenhaal's house. Forever it's Jake Gyllenhaal. <laughs> yes. This is like it is like it's it's like changing. It's like it's like going like this to me. It's like it's like I want to be here. No, give me here. No, here, here. No, down here, down here. It's like every single time it's a different smell. It's like so it's all over the place. It's flowing. It's just flowing. I I would not describe it like this. This makes me I mean the picture and everything was just like okay cool that is lovely i like this this is a summer this is summertime i was gonna say summertime sadness but like that would not not be correct this is summertime madness is right here this is like doing the bits like i i really oh my gosh i i love it every single time i go back i'm getting like another note and it's like it is fun. This is fun. Jake's house is fun. <laughs> it's a fun house. Like now I understand Taylor Swift. Oh my gosh. I love it. I love this. This is nice. I like Jake's house. I don't know about this. This is too, this is too old for me. This is way too old. This Queens and Monsters. You know, I think Lady Gaga might like it, but Cause you know, it's kind of a huh, little her, but it's definitely not me. I'm more of light and airy and that's just bogging me down. Like it's just making me like, it's making me age like 70 years in advance. Like that's what, that smells like, <laughs> like an old queen. No, I mean, it's, it smells like, it's too, it's too hard for me. Like it's too, it's too, uh, it's too grunty. I can't, I can't do it, but I can do Jake's house. Yeah, Jake's house is nice. <laughs> I like it. And it's clean. It really is clean. I wouldn't really say it's clean, though. I would put it as more as bright. Like they have Smythe is bright. So I don't, I would just, Jake's house is nice. It's like a house where you want to walk into it and smell it and be like this this house smells good like what is it it's really good like but i would pair this in the summertime this would be a summertime fragrance because it's that it's got that vibe it's definitely that vibe so when you think of summer think of jake gyllenhaal and all the vibes that he has and you'll be like i'm chilling at jake's house yes I do love it. Love Jake's house. Love it. I'm not going to go through every single one of them because this video would be really, really long. I don't have that many arms, so I'm going to run out of space. But there's 11. <laughs> Look at all that. There's 11 smells, scents, and there's ones that I really want to smell. So I wanted to smell fog. Fog is earthy. That was another fun one that I was like intrigued. I keep getting these boxes mixed up. Uh -huh. Fog. All right. Let's smell some fog. All right. That's good. It's clean. Let's get going. Wow. Sprayed strong. Sprayed strong. Oh. Fog. It's not what I wanted fog to smell like. The picture makes it look like it's in Scotland or something like that. Like I was hoping more like green, you know, the smell of grass. 
but this just smells like burnt woods. That's what it smells like. It smelled like alcohol at first because of all the burst of alcohol, but it says the lightness of velveteer wood is cut with the soft must to create a perfectly balanced freshness. Doubt that. Really doubt that. I don't like fog. It can just go in the trash. That's one for the trash can right there. Ew. Yeah, I don't, I don't like that. And it's in my armpit, sort of, so that's where it belongs. Sorry, Michelle, you guys missed the mark on this. I was hoping for, like, actually woods and grass. Like, I wanted fog. Like, I wanted, like, the misty fogness of a dark wood, like, in twilight. But instead, you gave me burnt wood with, a, with deer musk on it. Like, I don't want to smell like that. Uh-uh. It is more, if you have to genderize it, it would be more of a man scent, like a true man scent, masculine, that has masculinity written all over it. Um, but even a man probably wouldn't want to smell like that. That one just does not smell good to me. Like somebody said, like, it smelled like tobacco, Tabasco, they're lying. That's not what it smells like. It just, it smells like what it says. It's wood and musk. Wood, burnt wood with deer musk. It's just, nope. And it's not earthy. I would not say that that's earthy. I would say that it's burnt. That's what I would say. Um, so the other one that I'm going to try over here is going to be sheep's clothing. So sheep's clothing is two people just with skin. I'm like, what parts is that? <laughs> um, so sheep's clothing is floral woody. The unexpected burst of pink peppercorn creates a perfect juncture position with the softness evoked from Turkish rose, which I'm sure it's going to have a lot of high notes of rose and amber woods. So let's find that one. Actually, I really wanted windows down. That one sounded fantastic. But I wanted to see sheep's clothing. I have to go through the whole damn thing. Trying to find some sheep's clothing. All right. Spraying it. I sprayed a little low, a little higher. Oh, get out of the view. I can smell it from here. Oh, that's interesting. Still smells like outside. <laughs> Let me spray it one more time so I can get a better. This is the lightest one. It's really hard to smell. It's weird. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I, I'm not even getting rose. I'm not even getting the rose in it. Like I'm having to spray a third time. I can't. I sprayed it like a lot. That's all the alcohol. Where's the rose? The rose absolute. I'm not get. I'm getting peppery and maybe some amber. I'm getting the pepper. That's what I'm getting, the pepper. It does smell peppery, like, like pink pepper. Y'all have ever have pink? No, it's pink salt. That's pink Himalayan salt. I'm getting that mixed up. I can't really smell this. I'm not even, I'm not even getting any. Look at me rooting around. 
No. This one's lost on me. And look how much I've used already just by spraying it. Look at that. Look how much I've used. And I can't even smell a damn thing. I smell the... Yeah. I'm starting to pick it up, but that's light. That's light, you guys. That's really, really light. I can't smell sheep's clothing. I mean, I guess like they should have called it naked is what they should have called it, not sheep's clothing. They should have called that naked because you can barely tell it's on there. Like, <sighs> nope. I can tell fog is there. Ugh. Jake's house. Jake's house takes the win out of out of these. Um, what did I do? Four out of these four. I'm gonna say Jake's house is the win. Jake John's house house always wins. Yes, <laughs> it wins. It's forever Jake John Hall for me. <laughs> um, yeah. No, I am so disappointed. Out of these four fragrances, there's only one that I like. Wow, that's really sad. Um, and uh, and the one that they paired me with, I absolutely don't really. Well, no, I can't say I absolutely don't really like it. But Fog was the one I really absolutely do not like. I do not like that fragrance. Sheep's Clothing, I can't even smell it. It smells like my skin. I've been roting around with dogs and that's what it smells like. It still smells like dogs. So I'm going to say that's a pass. I mean, I don't know who else and Queens and monsters. If I need something that, you know, I would rather go with symmetry. Probably symmetry is not that great as far as like being holistic and all that, but, um, it just smells a little better to me. I don't know, but yeah, Stay tuned for part two. This video is already too long. And thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.